Okay, so this is um, a bit of an assembly vid for the uh, Nova Mill power draw bar. Um, standard Nova Mill, obviously I've taken the, uh, the top off, uh, the cover off the head. Um, standard Nova Mill, you'd have a tool holder in the bottom here and it would be held on with this bolt and um, washer and it just drops down through and then your tool holder goes in there and it bolts on. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace this, this little sucker with something that will cock a hold of, well, what should we use, let's use this one. So, there. Yeah, what are these? These are um, BT30 tool holders. This is an ER16 one with um, a bit of a shoulder on it, extension. I prefer the shorter ones like this because um, you get more clearance from the tool and you just put uh, collets on them. And there you go. So, um, but obviously, that and that is different. So that would normally just bolt in the back of that uh, and you could use those as they are and I'd have done in the past uh, but what you've got is this um, little uh, um, pull stud um, and the idea is something comes in grabs all of that and pulls it up into the, the bottom of the um, taper like that so how do we grab all of that and um, you know do it in a reliable way and a way that means that I can mechanize holding and releasing it so and uh, what we have is one of these suckers and i've got it in a pot because um as you can see there are ball bearings in that um in that and what happens is as this is let's keep that over here as this is pulled up inside of here uh there's a like if you like a taper and i'll, I'll see if i can show you on the drawing so that's in this region just here on the drawing. It's not very clear, but that's where it is. And as that goes up, these balls are pushed in. And as they're pushed in, they grab around the back of that shoulder there and hold it in. So as long as this thing's um, up far enough so that when it starts coming up, these balls move in enough to grab on that shoulder, they'll continue going up and they'll pull this up with it. And then obviously um, this is pulled up by a stack of springs um, which I'll show you in a bit and um, and then to release it the old uh, well then it's held in on the top with a, a little uh, nut special nut that goes in on the top and um, the stack of springs act against that so we'll show you that in a second um, so this is the um, drawbar that I turned up and I ended up filing a bit of a flat on the shoulders here to be able to grab hold of it and uh, and then this piece here the actual um, collet and the ball bearings they came from Denford and uh, you screw it on the bottom here and then uh, tap it on and then in the end bottom of this um, is a little you tap in the end of it a um, uh, little cap head screw and that's used for adjusting how far up that can go into there um, so yeah so there you go so uh onward um so a little bit about so obviously this is a again a denford part um purchased from uh denford uh by the way this and um i don't know if you can see it but the rocker arm and that bit and that and the collet and the ball bearings like uh, a couple hundred quid um, yeah uh, glad I could get the rest of the stuff and make it myself um, but anyway there we go um, so I need a tool to do this this is a, an adjustable spanner for an angle grinder um, and it does the job really well cheap as chips uh, I can't remember what brand it was but it does the job so Obviously, I'm keeping this in a pot because I don't want to lose the ball bearings because um, I'm guessing they're hardened and all that junk. So, how does that get squished up that way? So, what you've got is you've got a shoulder in here, and obviously the pin goes up the middle, and that goes on the top, and it squishes a stack of um, springs. And what you have is these spring washers. So, 
I can't remember how many there are, um, but basically these are um, like, uh, I don't know, can you see that? It might be better if you can see it there. You can see they've got like a, a dish in them and each one of these um, stacks onto the other and creates a set of dished springs and they eventually, um, if you squish them, they'll, it creates a spring basically and um, the pneumatics, so again the, the piston here and the arm there, that arm pushes down on here and compresses these, well actually it's that way up, compresses these springs uh, and then that pushes the, the uh, call it down, allows those balls to spring out, allows the tool holder to drop away and it does literally drop out um, uh, which means you've got to be careful there's not a tool in there. Um, so how do we um, put all this together? So uh, well let's just do it. Uh, obviously um, good tip when you're putting these in stack them up on some sticky thing first and um, I'll show you why in a minute it's really handy. So what we do is uh, we get this and we put this underneath because we don't want to lose the balls again honest <laughs> and then very carefully balance as we push it up and it goes it, it gets aligned and don't want to lose those balls and there we go and you can see it's come out the top so once that's up the top I'm trying to remember how I did this now here we go this is all cack handed because I used the wrong finger <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing like using the wrong finger it just uh yeah, probably screws you up Right, just uh, we're going to do a finger change here. Now I can't do a finger change. I'm going to do. Oh shit! Please don't say those balls are falling out. No. Okay. Do not pull out. As you can tell, I've had the experience of looking for the balls. I don't want to do it again. Right, that's better. I've got the right hands now. So then we've got this um, stack of springs. And the trick is, this is where they go everywhere. Oh, please don't go everywhere. Ta-da! How cool is that? And then we get, uh, we get rid of that. And... Um, Last time, honest girl. I think there's going to be some beeping out going on here. Mm -hmm. This is, by the way, this is what my kids call my garage language. Um, so, yeah. Ah, there we go. Oh, no. Come on. Please, I don't want to be losing those balls. Uh, what are we doing now? Okay, so now I'm a little bit perturbed as to why that is as tight as it is. Um, so what I had to do, I did have to do when I was doing this, is the internal bore of this isn't um, all that well prepared, to be honest. Um, I assume when they supplied it, it's like, oh, we're not going to be putting anything moving in there. It's got the, the old fixed drawbar, so we won't um, polish it off. So I did a Spend a bit of time with a um, just a, a flapper sanding um, thing in a lecky drill, wasn't it up and down inside just to clean all that up. And sure, now if we go on to car, we'll just uh, wires this sucker down. There we go. 
go. So that's about it. Um, I'll adjust that again properly another time. That's kind of where we are. So that's the, um, the old. Uh, so you've got spring column, uh, drawbar, collet thing, and then the uh, that bit gets engaged in the collet and then it all goes up in there. And jobs are good. So now we've got that on, um, we need to go with this stuff. This is um, the rocker arm. And um, then we've got the piston. Um, so uh, there's going to be some mixing of um, video here because um, obviously I've moved on a bit since I originally did the video and so there's some testing showing a whole lash up of um, solenoid valve and everything here. That's all on the back of the machine now. Uh, so what we've got, we've got, um, this is the uh, solenoid valve so that's electrically operated by the switch which uh, the wires for which... Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, come through here. So these are the wires from the switch at the front. Uh, that's my 12 volt power supply to drive the solenoid. Um, so the switch comes in. This is the power for the solenoid. And then uh, what we've got is uh, obviously the uh, forward stroke and rear stroke, whichever way around it is, um, lines that go off to the piston at the, uh, on on the uh, head of the mill. And then you have this. This is the line feed in. That goes off to the uh, regulator at the front, and then you can just see here. There's the uh, the uh, line connector that goes uh, and just plugs into my airline. Um, now we've got this soda stream bottle. Uh, all I did was I uh, cut the top off, drilled a hole, uh, opened the hole up, and tapped in a, um, a standard quarter pipe thread uh, fitting, uh, just as a bit of a reservoir. Um, so that when this thing kicks over, um, it doesn't sort of drop pressure too quickly. Uh, but for now, piston, solenoid switch, um, it's going to be off, auto, or it might even be auto, off, and open. You can hear the solenoid. Looks like I've not turned the 12 volts off the solenoid. Hear that? Let's turn that off now while I remove it. Okay. Um, so this whole plate, so this is a plate I've got machined, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I've got that welded on the wrong side, so on the standard drawings, this is all mounted on there. Also these holes are all a bit goofed because I screwed up, and as you can see, um, originally the plate, the design's changed a little, little bit over the time. Um, so the plate was subtly different, I had to modify it, and I drilled the whole pattern nice and then I had to cut it back and then put an extra hole in, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, it works. So all you've got is you've got this whole assembly with the aluminium brackets uh, holding the thing on, piston on, and we get some... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay so you, you get it, that goes on there, and piston fires and pushes that down and pushes the thing down and blah, 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 and we're sorted. Okay, so... Um, now, actually, there is an intermediate step. So you can go around and build the big boxy cover that goes on it all. Um, but we didn't do that. We got the angle grinder out. And we got a slot in the uh, original cover. And as you can see, so I took, there's like a piece that goes on here. Again, I might have got it. Again, I might not. Oh, there we go. Okay, so there's, there's this piece here, which used to go on there, just the other way, and um, just uh, married up with that washer and tidied all the top up. And we uh, got rid of that, cut this slot out, as you can see, a bit gashy, but does the job. So this goes over this. Now, this has to go on first because when that side plate goes up here, it clamps all of this down and you just can't get it in um, even if you wanted because that's going across there and blah 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 um, something to bear in mind um, when I uh, took this apart these cheese head um, uh, socket head cap things whatever you want to call them were cheesy I think is a good way to describe it and they just rounded off um, so I had to uh, I ended up I can't remember how I got them off. I think I drilled them off and then I had to 
drill out the holes really carefully and then tap new threads and these are so I can't fit any on this side because the plates in the way so I've just got a couple on this side in the holes that I managed to tap out nicely yeah, by the way uh, tank tools um, didn't used to be a believer in good quality tools however when you're mucking about with nuts and bolts on something that's expensive and you don't want to round them off like happened there uh, all of a sudden good tools kind of make sense um, so yeah so we'll just snug that down I'll tighten it up properly later but you get the idea so we've got a couple of cap head screws on there and then we See, practice. That's what it takes. Can't help. What does it take to get the Carnegie all? Practice. Let's get a couple of bolts in here. And then we'll put that sucker back up. Okay, so, um, so all we do is we uh, drop that on there and then uh, get the. Then, drop the big boy, and just vent on her a little bit. Uh, this, um, this is uh, the Donkey Kong oh, for Allen Keys. I don't know if you can even call it a key, really. Um, that long, you really don't need to pull on it very much, and she's in tight. Uh, so, um, so, thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you like what you see, please uh, do so and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff. Thanks again. Cheers.